Everybody. Welcome to another iChat podcast from PirateSchool.com. My name's Elliot Baring, and today we're going to be looking at screen sharing in Leopard. Now, the first thing we need to do to enable screen sharing is go to System Preferences. Then we click on Sharing, and make sure Screen Sharing is ticked. Once that's done, we can close System Preferences. Now, all you need is a buddy who also has Leopard and iChat and a good connection to the internet and then we can select them and then we click on this little icon here which is the screen sharing icon now once we click on we can choose to share my screen with them or ask to share their screen now this is one of my students Charon's he's um, studying for his big exam tomorrow so let's just help him out with his work Uh, I just want hey, to say, Karen, how's that website? Oh, um, my God. Good. Good. Okay, uh, well. Just um, checking MySpace. Okay, you should be working on um, your research for the test tomorrow, but MySpace is okay. Yeah, so, yeah okay. Now, Sorry. thanks for helping out with this podcast. Of course, we're looking at screen sharing. What that means is not only am I talking to Sharon, I can control his screen and move windows around. Oh, Sorry. Now, let's say, for example, I want to show Charon a very cool website. So, oh, this is going all over the shop. I can just, I can literally type in here as if it was him. So we'll select his website and we'll just go to pirateschool.com. I can hit enter and I can help him through anything. So, Charon, I really want you to take note of this website because it's going to be huge. I'm excited. Now, is there anything else I can show you? Welcome to My name is Alex. I'm very excited to announce the release of this fantastic <laughs> website created by Elliot Berry. Uh, okay, <laughs> so I can also come into his iChat and then I can show him how to add a buddy or play around with his preferences so they're set perfectly. And one last thing. Vista can suck my mother balls. <laughs> That's a good website. Now, we'll just come back to iChat. I'm going to go up to preferences. So, Charon, you know you can limit how much bandwidth is used for iChat, and that's just done in the audio video settings. Click there, and then here you can choose, there he is there, look at the, the dude, bandwidth limit. So you can have none, or 100 kilobits, or up to 2 megabits. So, play around with that. Now, as you can see, once you make a change, it takes a little while to render it out onto the screen, but that's just based on how fast our internet connections are. Mine's not great, Charon's is pretty good, but I think that served the purpose. If I want to go back to my screen, I just click, switch to my computer, and now I'm controlling my computer. Charon's down here. You can still hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. How's the holidays going? Man, superb. Superb. Awesome. So to go back to his screen, I can just click on it. I'm there. And then let's say I want to show Charon something really cool in Terminal. I can click there. I could... I can launch everything. It's like I'm in his machine. Okay, so we can just print his working directory. Oh, user Charon. That's what's happening there. It's all looking good. Kosher. Okay, well, thanks a lot for helping out with this podcast, Charon. Thank you, man. Continue with your good works and the studying, and I'll catch you soon. Always. Okay, bye. Bye. Now to end, I can just click the X. And we're back. So that was screen sharing. I hope it was useful. Have a play around with it. It's just such a great collaborative tool. Until next time, I've been Elliot Baring on PirateSchool.com.